Welcome to this Max UDA tutorial on importing and transcribing audio and video files. To follow all steps in this video tutorial, it is helpful if you have seen the Getting Started video tutorial beforehand. First, we will open the context menu in the folder Documents via right click and choose the option Transcribe Audio Video File. Max UDA will now automatically switch to transcription mode, which you can tell from this little window here. You can use the control panel to change the settings like volume or playing speed. Use the rewind interval setting to determine how far back the audio is supposed to jump when you press stop and play again. For now let's set the rewind interval to 5 seconds. In addition we will select the option timestamp on enter so that MaxQDA automatically sets timestamps during the transcription process. To make sure the timestamps are displayed correctly, right click on the empty transcript and choose display timestamp column. Up here you can see a small toolbar. It belongs to the media player, which has automatically been activated when the transcription mode was started. MaxQDA's media player is comparable to conventional media players. For now, this button, which you can use to play and pause your file, will be the most relevant. When transcribing, it is very useful to use short keys. In this case, you can use F4 and F5. A little piece of advice for Mac users. If you want to use the F keys without pressing an additional key, press the Apple symbol, System Preferences, Keyboard and choose the F keys as standard keys. Now let's go back to our transcription. Press F4 to start playing your media file, listen for a while and then press F4 again. Okay, so we'll start the interview now with Robert. And Robert, on a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied are you with your career path? The media file will stop playing and you can transcribe what you just heard. Now, when we press F4 again, thanks to the rewind interval, this part will be played again so that you can listen to it once more and check your transcription. And Robert, on a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied If everything is correct, we proceed with the next section. Um, I would probably give my career path a 4 right now. You can insert as many timestamps as you want by pressing the Enter key. In this case, I will insert them when the interview switches from the interviewer to the interviewee. To see how useful these timestamps can be, we will skip ahead a little bit. Meanwhile, I transcribe the interview and code the text as usual. If necessary, you can watch the Getting Started video tutorial to learn how to code common text files. As we can see now, this audio transcription contains several timestamps. These timestamps serve to connect the transcript with the media file. In case you want to know what a certain segment originally sounded like, just click the timestamp next to the transcript and MaxQDA will automatically play it. Uh, I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm almost completely satisfied with my health. health. I would give it a 7. The timestamp function will also enable you to sum up interview passages provisionally and code them. If any coded part proves to be useful, you can easily listen to it later and transcribe it when necessary. In case you want to continue with your transcription at a different point in time, simply right-click the file and choose Transcribe Audio Video again to start MaxQDA's transcription mode. There are several other options that you can use in addition. The multimedia browser that you can see here opens a visualization of the audio track, which lets you navigate through the interview even more precisely. Use this little button to open an overview of all timestamps and document and use them to jump from one timestamp to the other, or to enter comments on certain timestamps or interview paragraphs. Optionally, you can create new timestamps, for example when the option timestamp on enter is deactivated. Or you could activate the sync mode, which is very helpful when you want to double check your whole interview transcript. Text segments that you can currently hear in the audio file will then be highlighted automatically. Now let's have a look at the transcription of video files. It basically works like the transcription of audio files with one difference. We usually want to watch the video while transcribing it. Just like before, we start by choosing the option Transcribe Audio Video and select the video file. Now MaxQDA will not only open the transcription mode window with the settings you already know, but also the multimedia browser. We drag the window to the side so that the document browser in the middle remains visible. As we don't need the retrieved segments window at the moment, I'll just drag it over here. From now on, the transcription of our video works just like the transcription of our audio files. I press F4 to watch one section of the video and transcribe what I saw or heard.
When I press F4 again, the video jumps back a little, I watch, stop the video, transcribe, and so on. In addition, I can use the multimedia browser timeline to easily navigate back and forth in the video. Transcribing videos is especially useful when your videos contain texts or when you want to get a written overview of the events in the video. If you're interested in learning how to code a video or audio file without first transcribing it, you're welcome to watch the following video tutorial.